Tragedy averted for a Portland visitor who was finishing his Hawaii vacation thanks to three quick-thinking teachers who saved his life. Manolo Morales spoke with the three good Samaritans and the great visitor who's happy to be alive. Manolo? Yeah, Joe, 71-year-old Lawrence Gill had a heart attack as he was getting ready to fly back home. Three women he had never met before immediately jumped right in to save his life. I want to thank you with all my heart. Heart. I can't say enough. Gil spoke by phone to the women who saved them for the first time since it happened. They were all at the Hawaiian Airlines lobby Monday checking in for their flights when he suddenly collapsed. Before I could even get shed all my stuff to try CPR myself, these three wonderful women came out of nowhere and immediately started uh, CPR. He started turning purple and we automatically just started doing uh, chest compressions. I yelled, get the AED, because he was not coming back. Um, I couldn't get any a pulse, um, no, nothing. Once they got the AED or defibrillator, the three teachers from San Diego knew exactly what to do because they're CPR certified. Emergency officials then took over and rushed Gil to the hospital. I want to thank you with all my heart, and you were an angel and a very special person to us. You and the other two ladies. AEDs were installed at Hawaii's airports 10 years ago. There are now 220 of them installed statewide. On Oahu, there are 175 of these AEDs. The idea is to have them no more than 200 feet apart from each other or 90 seconds away. Officials tell me it has paid off dramatically. The survival rate for heart attacks since they were installed is 67% more than double the rate of other international airports. As for the women, don't call them heroes. We're focused and we did what we had to do as civilians. Yeah, there was a need. There was a need. There was a need. <laughs> and there was a reason so, why we were there. <laughs> yeah. Now the state tells us that 35 lives have been saved since the AEDs have been, were installed at the airports. Lawrence and Audrey Gill flew back home today. They have two daughters, two grandchildren, we're also very grateful. Joe. Thanks, Manolo.